Oilers fans, hockey fans, what we are seeing in Edmonton is the start of what we were promised back at the 2018 NHL Entry Draft. Today's video is going over a guy who I've had kind of a love-hate relationship in terms of the overall projection for his development in my videos. It's been a guy that we've talked about a ton in the past, especially in 2018. Let's talk today about Evan Bouchard, because this is a guy who is finally being unleashed in probably the best way possible for the Edmonton Oilers thus far. Now, the reason we're talking about Bouchard here today is because Evan Bouchard in the most recent Edmonton Oilers game against the Winnipeg Jets was put in a position that he hadn't really been placed in before in the Edmonton system to date. It's a simple change, but it's one that will probably stick around for a while, as against the Winnipeg Jets in the Oilers' unfortunate loss on February 15th, they played Evan Bouchard on the left side. And they kind of put him there with a very specific set of instructions underway. And pretty much what those instructions were, they're pretty simple, but they're very effective. Because the Oilers coaching staff pretty much just told Bouchard, Hey bud, go out there and unleash the beast. He had eight shots on goal the other night. Absolute cannons from the blue line. This is the guy, the personification of the howitzer synergy in NHL 21 Hockey Ultimate Team, where the shot stats are all increased and all that, because this guy has an absolute bomb, and he let it show off eight times against the Winnipeg Jets. Sure, he was on for a goal against that was one of the more important goals against, but still... The guy was out there with a two-assist night for the game, and with four points in six total games so far, with Evan Bouchard and his stat line, I think things are just going to start opening themselves up a little bit more once Ethan Bear returns to the lineup. They moved Bouchard to the left side, not only just to capitalize on the offensive prowess and the howitzer of a shot he has, but because Ethan Bear, who has not been in the lineup the previous few games, is probably going to come back soon, and if he does come back, you know you're going to have to move one of those guys on the right side, either out of the lineup in general, or move them over to the left, and that's kind of what they did over here with Evan Bouchard. Furthermore, we had more stuff going on with the Oilers. This was published yesterday. A long chat between Dave Tippett and Cal Turris at the end of practice. Meanwhile, Evan Bouchard working with Jim Playfair on picking up pucks on the wall on the left side. That's a very, you know, very progressive kind of idea here for the Evan Bouchard left side of the ice kind of field. And it's one that I like a lot. And I know, we're probably going to have some people in the comments maybe thinking, okay, why is this such a big deal? So what? They moved him from the right side to the left side. Why does that matter, Lego? Like, oh, well, let's just go over a little bit of hockey basic kind of knowledge here. So this is kind of the stuff that you learn when you're in the lower levels of hockey. If you're a right side defenseman, you play hockey on the right side, more often than not, you're going to be right-handed. If you're a left-handed guy, you're most likely going to be played on the left side. And the reason for that is because when defensemen are planted on the right side as a right-handed guy or the left side as a left-handed guy, when the opposition sends the puck down the boards, it's easier for you to pick up the puck on the right side if you're right-handed because your forehand is going to be facing the boards. And the opposite is true for the left side. If you're right-handed and you're on the left side of the ice, what you're going to have to do to get a puck that's coming along the boards is either rotate yourself and get it on the backhand, or reach across your body with the hockey stick and still get it on the backhand. It's a forehand-backhand ease of application and ease of transition kind of thing as to why defensemen are usually placed on the side that their handiness suits. Now, it's not rare to see some guys once in a while who play on the right side, but they're left-handed, like Jordy Ben on the Canucks, for example, and Nate Schmidt on the Canucks, for example. Yeah, a lot of Canucks doing that. And I guess you can add Evan Bouchard to that roster spot, too. Now, for Evan Bouchard, we did kind of note this, but one of the big reasons playing into this decision is mostly Ethan Bear coming back into the lineup soon. But another second tertiary part about it as well, it's not because they want Evan Bouchard to start picking pucks up on his backhand. No, it's because he's a right-handed shot, and he's got a very, very powerful shot. 
Back when Evan Bouchard was in junior, in 2017-2018, this guy made the OHL his playground, absolutely going out there and hammering goals left, right, and center. 25 goals, 67 games played. Some of the goals on the rush, okay, that was cool, but a lot of these goals, bombs from the point. He had an absolutely deadly, accurate, powerful slap shot, and he was not afraid to use it over and over and over again during his time in the OHL. He defined himself as an offensive defenseman, and that's kind of what the scouts said about his game, too. It's just the foot speed, the defensive play, all that stuff. That's kind of why I was super wary on Evan Bouchard back when he was available in the 2018 draft, especially for the Vancouver Canucks, who were in need of right-handed defense. I was like, please, if we're going to take a right-hand guy, please take Noah Dobson, because I like the defensive shutdown tendencies that he has. Even though Bouchard is very good offensively, I question the work ethic, I question the defensive shutdown coverage, but as time has gone on for Bouchard, in Edmonton. We did note these in a few videos in the past, but he absolutely has improved on a lot of the things that had me personally questioning his overall projection for the 2018 draft. He actually started backtracking a little bit more. He started being a little bit smarter with his stick in the own zone, which is all good to see. You know, he's a young guy, young defender, learning the ropes, playing two years in pro hockey certainly helped him out. But now he's in the NHL. And now they're showing him off in a way that says, yeah, we're confident that this guy can play the way that we want him to. And when he played in the NHL back in 2018-19, he played seven games. He only had one goal, but that one goal came really early in his time in Edmonton back in 2018-19. And it showed a lot of people just what exactly we could see going forward into the future with Evan Bouchard. Because his goal that he scored a few years ago was just an absolute slap shot. He gripped it, he ripped it, boom, it's in the back of the net. And now we're starting to see that full-time in the NHL as he's getting upwards of 20 minutes a night. He was averaging two, three shots a game in the previous games, but that skyrocketed up to eight shots in the most recent game. And now, with this guy maybe acting as a power play quarterback, who knows? Maybe acting as a guy who, in dire situations, you throw out there when you need to score a goal. You've got Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, the Nuge, and Yamamoto all up front. Bouchard on the blue line over there. And he's the guy manning the top of the umbrella. He's the guy doing what he does best in the offensive zone. Settling the puck down, looking for passing lanes, doing some very deceptive passing, and... When the time is right, throwing it on goal for big rebounds or maybe even big juicy snipes. Evan Bouchard was the best version of a howitzer offensive defenseman back at that 2018 draft. Quinney is a little bit different. He's got a different kind of way that he produces points. It's a lot different from Bouchard's, where Quinn Hughes likes to carry the puck and deceptively create space for himself with his skating. Evan Bouchard is able to take the space that is given to him and find good passing lanes and just set up guys in front with big rebounds because his shot is a gift from the heavens. So, did he play a perfect game against Winnipeg the other day? No, he didn't. But... He's still out there doing very positive things, and now that he's being put onto the left side where he's absolutely going to be able to take the puck and quickly send it on goal because he's already facing the puck with the forehand one time, that bomb from the point as well, he's going to be able to do that more and more now, and I think it was worth the wait for Oilers fans. It's just kind of funny because you guys have another defenseman in Philip Broberg who probably could become a really good guy as well. He's just got, like Bouchard in the previous years, a lot to work on between his ears and behind his eyebrows. So for Evan Bouchard, I still do think he does have the potential to be a number one defenseman in the league. It's just my opinion from the 2018 draft was that a lot would really have to go correct in order for that to transpire. Sure, he has the talent to be a number one offensive defenseman, but... You can't be a number one all-round defenseman without being able to defend in your own zone and, you know, when you're getting beaten by OHLers on the back check like Evan Bouchard was a few years ago. He's been improving. He has been improving, for sure. The ceiling does exist, I do think. It's just unlikely that it does fulfill to the utmost potential, but you know what? I would love to be proven wrong, just like I was proven wrong a few years after I made my concerns with Evan Bouchard video all the way back before the 2018 draft. If you want some laughs, check out that video. Because even though while I do admit they were legitimate concerns... It's just kind of funny in retrospect because he has overcome those obstacles to an extent. So, you know, revisionist history. It's always great to see prospects developing in the ways that we want them to. Does Evan Bouchard become a number one defenseman? Hey, I wouldn't be surprised if five years down the line he was, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't either. That's just kind of my own opinion about it. But regardless, 
No matter what happens in the future, in the now, he's being given opportunities. And for now, the Oilers are looking to unleash the beast that is the howitzer of the Evan Bouchard shot. So let me know in the comments if you thought about this commentary. If you enjoyed this, this is Rose 99. And bye. <laughs>